Uh, a local commercial fisherman by the name of Jim Schaefer. He has taken over the former Arby's restaurant out near the peninsula in Mill Creek. His goal is to open up a fresh fish market right here at home. Yeah, there have been a few obstacles along the way, though. That store has yet to open. And our Megan Zielinski joins us live from that West 8th Street location with more on the roadblocks this new business has faced. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Mark Tracy. I started talking to Jim Schaefer back in July when he wanted to first open this location here on West Street, West 8th Street. Well, it's now eight months into the process and he's hit roadblock after roadblock, which is why we decided to go through the process and figure out how long it takes and what do you need to do if you are rezoning a new building. Any new business owner looking to take over a building must complete several steps when rezoning. Architect Michael Grab walked me through the process. Best advice is to call the zoning department in the township and ask them, A, can I use this particular use, let's say a fish store on West 8th Street, and is that an acceptable use for the property in the zoning district? After getting that green light from the township, the next step is to contact Building Inspection Underwriters, the code compliance agency contracted by Mill Creek Township. So their job is to review it for code compliance. And in some cases, you don't need it. If it's a simple move in and you're with the same use group, then it's easy. But if you change the use, you know, from uh, in the case of the Arby's that was considered like a a2 restaurant use to an M mercantile fish store, well, that's a change of use. Once the building inspection underwriters approve of this building, the township will sign a certificate of occupancy. I visited the BIU office and made numerous calls, but was unable to connect with an inspector. According to the township, new business owners should be advised that these steps could be a lengthy process. On average, it can take up to three to six months, depending. Uh, sometimes, uh, depending on the size or scope of the project, it may be a little quicker. Well, after going through these process, we also spoke with the owner, Jim Schaefer, and we'll have more on that coming up at 630. But for the meantime, if you are waiting for this building to open, Schaefer recommends that you follow him on Facebook, Presque Isle Fish and Farm, and he'll keep you updated for when he finally gets through all these steps. From Presque Isle Fish and Farm on West 8th Street, Megan Selensky, Erie News Now.